Texas well. Sunshine 83. It's always sunny here. Well, well it's actually not as sunny on my channel. You guys yeah. should go to her channel <laughs> because it's a lot more sunny over there. We are here at the Goodwill Outlets. And if you guys saw like one of my older videos, the first ever video that I did with Alexa, we came here and we went in the bins and it was quite the experience. Oh yeah. A hundred <laughs> honestly, like it changed my like viewpoint on thrift stores altogether. Yeah. I was like, okay, we've been in the trenches. Yeah, we've been survived. yeah, we definitely survived it. But you guys should check out that video. I'll leave it link down below as well. But we're here for part two. Second take, we have our gloves this time. <laughs> we brought gloves. I have hand sanitizer. Good. Um, yeah, I'm okay. like ready to we're, go. We're set. We feel more prepared this time. Yeah. But like in the last video, we weren't really able to like film that much inside because <laughs> it's a bit dangerous. People don't like us filming. So we're gonna try and get like little clips here and there with our phones, but other than that, we're not gonna be able to film. Yeah, more more for just like safety wise. And yeah. the thing is, because there is so much going on and like stimulation, like yeah, we'll be we we'll have be to working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not much time for filming. Yeah. So, but hopefully we'll have like a decent haul at the end. We can show you and also check out Alexa's channel because she's also gonna be doing a thrifting video at the outlet. So that will be linked down below. We're just gonna go ahead and go inside and wish us luck. We just finished up at the outlet. Here's everything that I got. Loki, I actually found this bag inside there in like the bin, so that helps. There was actually a lot of them, so that's a little life hack. If you didn't bring your own reusable, just find one in there because there is a ton of them. Your belt fell. Uh oh. Sorry, I guess. Ca we got a casualty over here. Eh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got this belt. But I'm gonna show you guys a haul when I get back home, when I stop sweating because it was really hot. And I had it was a lot of work. Wait, let's show me your haul really quick. Oh, yeah. Right here, it's quite heavy. <laughs> I ended up. Um, Leah was 76, like not pounds, but you know like is ounces. Yeah, or six. Leah was five dollars less than me. Yeah, so there you go. That's yeah, I spent 15, and then you spent like 20. 20. Yeah, so which is pretty. I mean, come on. I know we got a ton of stuff, <laughs> so that's a really good deal. So definitely check out her channel to see what she got. And also when I get home, I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. So stay tuned for the haul. And thanks for coming along. Yeah, with thanks. part two. Let us know if we should do a part three or an in two. And well. for the part three, should we go to a different one? Because there's a yeah, couple. Yeah, we should try a different one. Yeah. Comment down below if we should do that. All right, see you guys later. Peace. What's up, guys? So I'm back from thrifting with Alexa. Okay, sorry if you guys can hear the situation happening above my head. We're just gonna try to talk through this. I'm gonna try and talk loud. But now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I found. And while I was like looking through this stuff, like when I got home, I realized I found a lot of like trendy pieces that are really in style right now. So I'm gonna be titling this like trendy summer slash fall clothing trends or something along those lines you guys will see in the title. Ended up finding some really great things and it's actually really exhausting. If you guys have never been to the outlets before, it's like, a, it's very taxing on the body. You're just like constantly moving clothes and like trying to look through things. We were like definitely ready to go after an hour and a half. We were like, yo, let's, let's leave already because we were very exhausted. So how the outlets work is that everything is weighed and then by the weight, that's how much you pay. So all my stuff weighed 7.9 pounds and it's $1.99 per pound, so it came out to be a total of $15.72. So I'm gonna start off with the accessories. I was able to find this bag right here, which is like super trendy right now for the summer. It's just like a little handheld envelope wallet bag thing, but it's really cute. It's like wicker kind of looking, and then it has like the wooden detailing right here, and then you open it up. It is a little bit dirty. I don't know exactly how to wash this, 
So I'm gonna do some research and try to like clean it up a little bit. It says it's made in Japan, so like that's kind of cool. And the next accessory that I found was this black belt with this gold hardware. I think this is super cute. And I was looking out for another brown braided belt, but I couldn't find one, so I still need to find one of those. It says it's genuine leather made in Taiwan by the leather shop. Some good stuff right here. And then the last accessory that I found was actually this, which I was surprised to find. It's like this bralette from Victoria's Secret Pink. So it says like pink all around the band and then it has velvet straps and like a velvet, it's just like velvet, you know? I thought this was really cute. This is in really good condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn before. So I'm just gonna wash this right up and it'll be good to go. And yeah, I just thought this was a great piece and this is super light. So this is definitely like under $1. So you really can't beat Goodwill outlets. They just have amazing prices. If you're willing to look and willing to move everything, I don't know. Okay, next I found this like long shirt kind of tunic looking thing. And I was really drawn to it from the color because this is a really in color for the summer as well as like the fall time. It's like this green, like this bright green, but like almost like pastel color green. And I really, really like this. I wasn't quite sure how, how I would style it, but I think just buttoned all the way up with like bike shorts underneath it. And I tried it out with a belt and I don't think I love it with the belt, but it could also be worn like open. So I'm excited to style this and, you know, try to wear this for the summertime. So very excited about this. This next item that I found were these pants and I was super excited to find these because these definitely remind me of like Brandy Melville pants, like almost exactly. Let's see it. It's by the brand Briggs New York. Cute, it has some pockets. I think this is amazing and I'm excited to style this because I think these will fit really nicely and if not, I can probably pair it with that belt that I got. So I was very excited to find that. Okay, next I found this pair of jeans and this is by the brand LL Bean. And these just look like they will fit so nicely and I love the wash of this jean. The only thing is that they have like some staining in the front, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm hoping this will come out. I love how they have like the stretchiness on the sides cause then you can eat some, whoa. Cause then you can like not feel bad about like eating food, you know, and then like, it's a thing. This next thing that I found was like one of the last items that I found. I just like saw it really quickly and I was like, oh, that's really cute. So I found this little like tank top, crop top little situation and it just has some red and black and white stripes on it. This is by the brand Sky and Sparrow and I believe they sell this brand at Urban Outfitters or at least they like used to because I'm pretty sure I've seen it there. Okay, next I found this dress and it just looks like this on the top and then it's really long, it's like a maxi dress. And then at the bottom, it looks kind of like, I don't know, fall looking leaves and like berries, I don't really know, but it looks kind of fall like. Okay, so since this is super long, kind of unflattering on my body, honestly, I wish it was like shorter. I like tried to tie a knot here, but I couldn't really tie a knot. So I have my like hair tie and then it's like bunched up in the front. Okay, so this is my thrift flip really quick. It's definitely interesting. The slits are very high, but hey, if you need, if you're in a pinch, here's a thrift flip for you guys. There you have it, thrift flip, what's up? Okay, and then next I found this shirt, and at first I thought it was from the brand The Mountain, because I saw the back first, and then it looks similar to The Mountain when it has like the whole like tie-dye looking back. But the front just looks like this. It says kawaii and then it has like Hawaii. So the front says kawaii and then it has Hawaii on the front. And I thought this was so cute because this is like a little like foreshadowing of what is hopefully to come in the future. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. And yeah, I just, I just liked it. I saved this one for last because this is like totally like my 90s dream come true and I just had to get it. So, this is it. Like, this is the cutest thing ever. I am so excited to wear this during the winter. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like a windbreaker like jacket. It's actually like pretty hefty. And there's like a pocket in the front. My roommate Madeline was like, you can store your pizza in here because it's literally like the shape of a pizza. So, and that's not a bad idea. And Alexa was saying that I could be like a 90s winter Barbie wearing this with like my hair. 
And that's what I plan to do. That's honestly, that's my plan for this. I just want to be a 90s Barbie because hello, this is so cute. Love this, just absolutely love it. I'm hot, I am burning up. I want to take this off, I feel sweat happening. I wanna put my pizza in here. Okay, I gotta take this off. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sweaty. Was it practical? Probably like not, but I had to get it, it was so cute. Next I got this, which polka dots I feel like are always in style and like always a trend. So I was happy to find this. And then it has like these um, wrap detailing. So you can like wrap it in the front and then like tie it in a bow. And I think this is gonna be really cute. So I'm excited to style this. Okay, and then lastly, I just have two items for just, you know, my future child at some point in my life. I like, sometimes I just like can't control myself. If I see something that's cute and it's for a child, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna save it. So yeah, Alexa found this and I was like, can I have this because it's so cute? And she's like, yes, you can definitely take this. I don't want it. So these are like little Minnie Mouse overalls and it has little like ruffles at the bottom. This is just so cute. And it has like a Minnie Mouse. So I literally could not pass this up. And then lastly, I found this little like jumpsuit polka dot little number. And this is from the brand Janie and Jack, which is like a really nice brand. And I think I'm gonna give this to one of my friend's babies. So yeah, I'm gonna give that to her, but I just thought that was so cute. But anyways, that is it for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you think Alexa and I should go back for a third time because this was actually quite a great haul, I will say. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Alexa's video after this. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Peace. Ew. Okay, I did not know those were in there.